Is it true you practice for the sailing scene with your daughter in the living room, though? Is that like sh some strong <laughs> war? Is this, is this something that's on the internet's made up, or is this a true story? This movie, oh my goodness, I was so excited going in. I absolutely loved it. But your character, Penny, I mean, there's so much to her. She's got her own storyline going on. She's with romance with Tom Cruise's character, obviously Maverick. How did you learn you were going to get this role? Did you know Tom? What do you have to do to get in Top Gun? Do you know what I mean? Everybody wants to be in this new movie. I didn't know Tom. I had never met Tom before. Um, I knew the director, Joe Kaczynski. I had worked with him before on a movie called Only the Brave. And um, he called me. I was thrilled that he wanted to work together again. I loved working with him. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, that's how it happened. I read the script. I thought it was great. I thought they'd come up with such a great story for it. Yeah. Um, and that's w how it happened. Was there any disappointment at all that when you saw it going through the script that you're not going to be up in one of the planes, the fighter jets? Was there was any totally like hope? I was totally fine with that. I was totally <laughs> fine with not having to go through that training, but I definitely applaud the actors who did because it adds so much to the movie. It's really amazing. Is it the training that would put you off, Jennifer? Like, do you like roller coasters? Do you like speed? I like, I like training. I mean, like, I'm pretty sporty, but um, yeah. roller coasters, no. And flying isn't like my favorite thing. Okay, okay. You play a bartender in this, right? In our Ireland, if you're going to play a bartender, you, say you need to be able to pull a good pint, no matter who you are. Actually, you need to be in a, a I good bartender. I think that's pretty essential. So did you actually learn, do you know what I mean? Did I practiced. Definitely okay. practiced. Was there yeah. pressure with people like Tom Cruise standing at the bar in a scene and I you're going to go Because he, he was in cocktail and he definitely had <laughs> skills. I mean, he has skills at everything, you know. Um, what was the yeah. training like then to pull a pint or did you know already? No, I didn't. It hadn't come up much for me okay. in life. Yeah, <laughs> pulling a pint. Um, I practiced. It's all right. I think it worked. And is Tom as nice in real life? I mean, he's known as the nice guy for, from the public. We all see him as this amazing character. What's he like to work with and what's he like offset? Yeah, he's super generous. Um, very uh, thoughtful, uh, very enthusiastic, super intense about everything he? that he does. Yeah, in an incredible way. I mean, I think he's someone who, you know, he's really skilled um, and he applies himself to such an extent, you know, he doesn't take anything for granted. I feel like he's aware that, you know, every moment presents an opportunity and he wants to make the most of every opportunity. Okay, and I believe this movie fil filmed for quite a while. I don't know how long you were involved for it, but I think it was about a year. It was a while, yeah. So do you bond more on set when you have that amount of time? Because surely it's unusual in the film to get that long with the cast. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like we were there the whole time. Yeah. You know, we'd work and then go away and then shoot something else or reshoot something and, um, so, uh, but it was, an, it was an evolution for sure, you know, and sort of getting to know each other and work together more. Yeah. Um, it was nice, it was a great experience. I loved, I loved working with him and I loved uh, watching him work and um, okay. getting to witness how, he's very smart about story, you know, and working on story and refining story. Okay. And I thought that was really interesting. And we get this a scene with uh, Miles on the piano, you're serving the drinks at the bar. I wondered, was there any crack, as we say in Ireland, after did anybody go out for nights out or anything in Ireland when there's filming going on, when I talk to cast, usually there's nights out, especially if they're like got days off. Anything like that now? Or was it all work, work, work? Uh, this is like the boring answer, but the <laughs> true answer is um, most of the filming, I had my daughter with me. Uh, my daughter Agnes, so she's 10 now, she's a little younger then, so okay. most of the time when I would finish working, I would run home and hang out with her. And could you identify with your character then a little bit as a mom yeah. in, in the movie? Yeah, she's my character is a mom and she has a really nice uh, relationship with her daughter Amelia, who she goes on sailing adventures with, so hopefully Agnes and I will have many adventures. Absolutely. And you mentioned sailing. I mean, you don't get to go up in those massive plane fighter jets, but you do. There is a sailing scene. And to me, that looked nearly worse. That looked pretty rough out there. It was pretty rough. Um, the boat was moving very fast and was sort of like at a, what I, seemed to me a pretty implausible angle. Um, but evidently, that's, that's, that happens, and that's cool. <laughs> um, You're probably toppling over. Yeah, it, it was really fun. And I do go on a plane. I go on a plane in a, um, in a P-51. Oh, yes. That Tom was flying. Yes, at the S. I remember that. That was pretty, pretty extraordinary. <laughs> is it true you practice for the sailing scene with your daughter in the living room, though? Is that like sh some strong <laughs> war? Is this, is this something that's on the internet's made up, or is this a true story? No, it's actually true. Not the sailing. I mean, I took sailing lessons, like, actually out in the water. <laughs> um, but I, I, was very, I was very apprehensive about not remembering my lines, which I don't usually worry about that, you know? Um, 
But in this case, I was particularly worried about it because I knew there was going to be so much happening with the wind and the wave and thinking about the ropes and the, like everything that I had to do. I really wanted to make sure that I had it kind of solid. So yeah, mm -hmm. I practiced at home. I stood on a coffee table and had my kids like spraying water at me and blowing on me and trying to like, you know, distract me in any way they could. I love funny. that. Because we all imagine this massive team there with you. I'm sure you did proper training, but I love that like it goes yes. back to, <laughs> to kind of it's real. Um, Labyrinth, one of my favorite movies. Obviously you're in that as well. Top Gun, such a legacy. These are such big projects that you've done that have stood the test of time. Do you have fond memories of Labyrinth? It's a long time ago, I know. Oh, I had an amazing time making that movie. Amazing. Um, was 14 I think when we made it it was like this the sets it was like a wonderland uh they were all practical sets these huge like huge sets built in the studio um that were so beautiful and so full of detail the crew was amazing I love Jim Henson um David, David Bowie Bowen. was a legend you know um it was it was magical it was a really magical time it's still as good as it ever was and this is brilliant Top Gun Maverick thank, thank you so you. much Jennifer thank Take you care.